This is Garrett Fry, the Cityscape Sequence Lead for 3D Digital Map Painting, and I'll be giving you the brief for this sequence. This sequence was shot in a well-known metropolitan city, however, the story narrative requires a fictional city. The existing city needs to be transformed into something different, so the audience does not recognize it. As the map painter for the sequence, you'll be adding and replacing buildings from the city skyline in each shot. Each location was shot at a different time of day, so you will need to provide continuity of your map painted elements between shots. In order to make this city unrecognizable, you'll need to replace up to 50% of the city skyline. Before you start your work, do a study on how the appearance of buildings change under different lighting conditions. You'll need to consider direct, indirect, bounce, and localized light. Notice the color and temperature of the light as the position of the sun changes. You'll need to simulate window reflections that fits the environment around each building. Shadow shapes are very important to make your building feel seated into the environment. Find the horizon line and make a grid in order to align your buildings to the correct perspective. Look through the reference photography with your particular shots in mind. Collect the same buildings from different angles or lighting conditions. Then test your building selections with quick shot concepts to evaluate the suitability for relighting in your shots. As your lead, I'll be providing you direction in training. Each shot has a video brief where I describe the work required for you to successfully complete the shot. There's hours of training provided, specifically aimed at the challenges that you'll face while working on the sequence. It is common at a visual effects studio to send scouts out to collect photo reference to be used in large sequences. The image library consists of nearly 500 raw images. That's 2.27 gigs of buildings from five different cities from around the world. Sydney, Wellington, Adelaide, San Francisco, and New Orleans. The photo reference includes daytime and nighttime photography of some of the same locations. You will need to become very familiar with this library. Once downloaded, it's a good idea to spend some time looking through and organizing the library into potential buildings that can be used for your sequence. I'm glad you have chosen to accept the challenge of taking on the sequence. Knowing how to perfectly integrate man-made structures is essential to every matte painter skill set. Showing your ability to integrate matte painting elements over multiple shots might be the most important thing you put on your demo reel. Good luck.